1925 baseball season. Quite a fair bit happened, which included a World Series. We start with April 14th. St. Louis versus the St. Louis Browns versus the Cleveland Indians started the season with a slugfest in which Cleveland wins 21 to 14, aided by the fact they scored 12 runs in the eighth. Also on April 14th, Lefty Grove makes his first career start for the Philadelphia Athletics, gives up five runs in three and two thirds innings, and Mickey Cochran goes one for two in his debut as the Athletics beat the Red Sox 9-8. May 1st, Jimmy Fox get, duh, gets a double in his first at-bat in the majors. A's lose 9-4 to Washington. May 5th, Everett, uh, Everett Scott has his consecutive games played streak end at 1,307 and a 6-2 to lo Yankees loss to the A's. May 7th, Glenn Wright turns a, the 5th unassisted triple play in a Pittsburgh 10-9 loss to St. Louis. May 17th, Tris Speaker of Cleveland collects his, the, becomes the fifth, the fifth player to collect hit number 3,000 off of Tom Zachary in a 2-1 loss to Washington. Ty Cobb was the fourth back in 1921. I don't know if I mentioned that. I doubt it. On June 1st, Lou Gehrig pitch hints for Pee Wee Waininger, who took over for aforementioned, uh, aforementioned, ah, uh, now I lost it. Everett Scott. Pee Wee Waininger took over for Everett Scott to end his consecutive streak, and then Lou Gehrig pinch hits for him on June 1st to start his consecutive games streak. June 6th, Eddie Collins of the White Sox collects his 3,000th hit, becoming the sixth player to do so. August 6th, three American League teams scored 10 runs. Chicago beats Boston 10-0, the Yankees beat Detroit 10-4, and the Senators beat the Browns 10-3. October 2nd, Leo DeRocher debuts in his in a yeah, New York Yankees loss to the Philadelphia 10 to nothing. Standings has in the American League. Washington finishes first in the American League 96 with 96 and 55. They're in the World Series. The Athletics go 88 and 64, eight and a half back. St. Louis goes 82 and 71, 15 back. Detroit goes 81 and 73, 16 and a half back. Chicago goes 79 and 75, 18 and a half back. Cleveland goes 70 and 84, 27 and a half back. Yankees go 69 and 85, 28 and a half back. Boston goes 47 and 105, 49 and a half back. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. National League, Pittsburgh finishes first with a 95 and 58 record. They play Washington for the World Series. New York Giants go 86 and 66, eight and a half back. Cincinnati goes 80 and 73, 15 back. St. Louis goes 77 and 76, 18 back. Braves go 70 and 83, 25 back. Brooklyn and Philadelphia Philadelphia Phillies each go 68 and 85, 27 back. And Chicago wins 68 and 86, 27 and a half back of first place. Season stats. Harvey Heilman finishes uh, top of the American League with a 393 average. Bob Musel Ends up with 33 home runs and 138 RBIs. National League hitting, Rogers Hornsby show again. Led the National League and the Majors with a 403 batting average, 39 
home runs, and 143 RBIs. Pitching in the American League, Ted Lyons and Eddie Rommel each have 21 wins. Stan Kowalewski ended up with a 2.84 ERA, and Lefty Grove 116 strikeouts. In the National League, Dazzy Vance leads the National League and the Majors with 22 wins and 221 strikeouts. And Dolph Luke, spelled L-U-Q-U-E, led the Majors with a 263 ERA. World Series, featuring Washington and Pittsburgh. Game 1, October 17th in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh home games are at Forbes Field. Well, Washington, Washington's home games were at Griffith Stadium. It was Game 1, October 7th in Pittsburgh. Washington 4, Pittsburgh 1. Draw first blood. Game 2, October 8th, also in Pittsburgh. Pirates win 3-2. to Go to Washington. Game 3, October 10th in Washington. Senators 4, Pirates 3. Game 4, October 11th in Washington. Washington 4, Pittsburgh 0. Go up 3 games to 1. Think it's over, right? Hang on. Game 5 in Washington, October 12th. Pirates 6, Senators 3. Okay, it's 3 games to 2 series lead. Go back to Pittsburgh for Game 6 on October 13th. Pirates win 3 games to 2. And Game 7, October 15th in Pittsburgh. And probably was considered one of the worst playing conditions of all time because it played all game in the rain. I don't know why they didn't stop it. It been the series was delayed a couple times due to rain as it was. Pirates 9, Senators 7. Pittsburgh becomes the first team in a best of seven World Series to go down 3-1 and win it. Now there's a difference. Okay, 1903 was the first time they suddenly come back from the three games to win to win a best of nine. This one was a best of seven. It was like two less games. So, so it's funny. Pittsburgh was at the wrong end of the best of nine. Three to games to one come back and they end up in the right side of the Best of seven, three games to one deficit. They come back. This turns out to be Walter Johnson's last appearance in the World Series. I think he retired about the, this off season or the next off season. Now you don't see the Senators again in the World Series until 1933. By then he had retired and. The Senators franchise and ends up moving to Minnesota in in sixty one, and then the next time the Wa Washington has a, and has a Wa next time Washington has a team in the World Series is until two thousand nineteen. But we're a long ways from that. Tomorrow, nineteen twenty six. Until then. Stay tuned.